One PepsiCo Tesla Semi was tracked to have traveled over 1,000 miles in one day, and the Tesla Semi fleet has driven 3.5 million miles until now. 50,000 units of the all-electric Class 8 Tesla Semi will be produced per year when the vehicle's Nevada production facility is ramped. 50 units are being delivered to PepsiCo. The Long Range's version tear weight is under 23,000 pounds, and its range is incredible at 500 miles, 200 miles higher than the standard ranges. So what would happen if there were 50,000 more Semi run on the road every year? Let's find out in today's episode. How has the Tesla Semi been updated to meet the growing needs of the truck industry? Tesla is trying so hard to meet their production goal of 50,000 units per year of the all-electric Class 8, generating up to $12.5 billion in revenue based on an estimated price at around $250,000 per truck. So far, however, Tesla has only delivered about seven dozen trucks to some publicly identified customers. Tesla senior manager, semi-program Dan Priestley, recently reiterated this ambitious aim when the vehicle's Nevada production facility is ramped. Priestley also noted that Tesla is looking to start semi-deliveries from its Nevada factory around 2026. By that time, the executive noted that the Tesla Semi would already be a significantly superior vehicle compared to its current iteration. Let's follow this senior manager to the ACT Expo event in Las Vegas, Nevada. During his talk, the executive revealed several key tidbits about the Tesla Semi program, like its current milestones and the company's plans for the vehicle's future. This presentation especially provides an overview of the Semi's weight without cargo, which Tesla has been pretty quiet about over the years. Eventually, Tesla lists the Semi's 300-mile standard range version with a tear weight of less than 20,000 pounds. The vehicle's 500-mile long-range variant, on the other hand, was listed with a tear weight of less than 23,000 pounds with 200 miles distance compared with the range of the standard version, promising to open a booming future for the truck industry. The executive's talk also included a section on the Tesla Semi's Megacharger network. With the Megacharger network support, the Semi could truly stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against and diesel-powered trucks are no longer formidable opponents, even when it mentions payload. Priestley noted that the Class 8 all-electric truck achieved over 1,000 daily miles, even more than an ideal number of diesel-powered trucks. More interestingly, Priestley's presentation also unveiled that the Tesla Semi fleet has driven an extraordinary distance of 3.5 million miles to present. This has allowed Tesla to not only refine the vehicle, but also electrify its supply chain. Tesla, after all, has been using the Semi as part of its own transport fleet. This could be seen in sightings of the Tesla Semi at the Fremont factory. Tesla Semi units have also been spotted at the Lathrop Mega Factory. It would not an exaggeration to say that Tesla's endeavor to produce 50,000 Tesla Semi trucks each year at its Nevada production facility is a strategic move to address the burgeoning demands of the truck industry, since the trucking industry is experiencing a paradigm shift towards sustainability with increasing demand for electric vehicles to reduce emissions and operating costs. Tesla is also seizing the opportunity to dominate the new truck market the same way it has led the way in battery electric vehicles by setting a goal of producing 50,000 Tesla semi-trucks on a yearly basis. Tesla aims to cater to this growing demand and establish itself as a key player in the electric truck market. However, it has to scale the production capacity as currently Tesla's Nevada facility has the capacity to produce a limited number of semi-trucks annually. Thus, Tesla has invested heavily in state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities, equipped with the latest robotics and automation technology. These factories are capable of producing thousands of semis per month. Take an example, if Tesla's current production rate is 1,000 trucks per year, reaching this aim would require a 50-fold increase in production capacity. Then, this strategy can significantly lower the cost per unit, Producing a larger number of Tesla semi-trucks allows Tesla to spread fixed costs such as equipment, labor, and facility expenses across a greater number of units. This results in a reduction in the cost per unit, making the Tesla semi more competitive with traditional diesel trucks. For instance, suppose the initial cost per unit for Tesla semi-production is $200,000. 
With increased production volume, this cost could potentially decrease up to $150,000 per unit, making the electric truck more affordable for fleet operators. In a nutshell, Tesla's ambition to produce 50,000 Tesla semi-trucks at its Nevada facility signifies a concerted effort to meet the growing needs of the sustainable truck industry. By scaling production capacity, lowering costs per unit, and penetrating the market, Tesla aims to accelerate the adoption of electric trucks and drive the transition towards a greener and more sustainable future in transportation. What is Tesla's current delivery schedule like? Do you remember when Tesla first released its Semi? Back to seven years ago when Elon Musk was first asked about his Tesla Semi. What sort of Semi is this? So this is a, a heavy-duty, long-range semi-truck. So it's like the uh, highest uh, weight capability um, and, and with long range. Um, so, so essentially, it's meant to um, alleviate the, the, the heavy-duty trucking loads. He also compare in a humorous way. We want to show that you no know, an electric truck actually can out torque uh, any diesel uh, semi. And if you had a tug of war competition, like the Tesla semi will tug the, the diesel semi uphill. Until now, many companies with large truck fleets that announced plans to buy thousands of Tesla semis are still anxiously waiting. PepsiCo, one of the rare publicly identified semi-users so far, said that it hopes to reach at least 100 units this year. So if you think that these Tesla semi are delivered on time, please comment why yes if you don't think so. Let us know by comment no. The Tesla semi is undoubtedly late, but the vehicles that have been delivered so far have been performing well. This reportedly became evident with PepsiCo, whose fleet of 21 Tesla semi-units beat expectations last year when it came to real-world performance. This was highlighted during the North American Council for Freight Efficiency's run on less event last year, where the Tesla semi traveled more miles per day on average compared to its peers. Then, recently Tesla announced that it is delivering 50 more semi-units to this corporation. We are building more trucks this year, as I mentioned, we're delivering another 50 currently to PepsiCo, and then we're putting more trucks into our operations. We're actually set to deliver some this year to some other customers as well, Priestley said. PepsiCo recently also shared an image showing its new Tesla semi-units. The vehicles will be operating from PepsiCo Beverages North America's PBNA Fresno, California location, and they will be serving customers across the state. As noted by PepsiCo in a press release, it would be receiving 50 units of the Tesla Semi over the next several months. It can be seen from PepsiCo's press release that Tesla appears to have delivered five new Semi units to the company. Interestingly enough, the new Tesla Semi units are painted white, unlike the blue PepsiCo trucks that were part of the company's initial fleet. The Tesla Semi units are supported by eight 750 kilowatt megachargers that have been installed at the PB&A Fresno, California location. Two Megapack batteries have also been set up at the facility. PepsiCo Beverages North America's Fresno, California location is a 170,000 square foot manufacturing facility that distributes popular drinks such as Pepsi, STARR, Y Gatorade, Rockstar, and Aquafina, among others. Needless to say, the new Tesla semi-units that were recently delivered to PepsiCo will be transporting heavy loads in their day-to-day -day operation. This should help debunk the idea that the Tesla semi is only being used by PepsiCo to transport chips from Frito-Lay, which are light loads. Dan Priestley clarified the Tesla semi's loads in his recent talk at the ACT Expo as well. Just to be clear, I think there's actually a mild misunderstanding about how PepsiCo has used their trucks. It's sometimes characterized that they're hauling chips, but in fact, it's actually the PepsiCo division that has more trucks hauling beverages on a regular basis, Priestley stated. John Dean, president for PepsiCo Beverages North America, West Division, highlighted that the electrification of the company's fleet of vehicles is a pivotal part of its sustainability efforts. Our fleet electrification is an important part of our PEP plus PepsiCo positive strategy and illustrates how sustainability is a core business strategy at PepsiCo good for the planet, good for our business, and good for the communities we serve, he noted. 
During last year's run on less event, one PepsiCo Tesla Semi was tracked to have traveled 1,076 miles in one day. The day included three quick 750 kilowatt fast charging stops, which brought the Tesla Semi's battery charge to 47%, 89%, and 52%, as noted in an automotive news report. Tesla noted then that 60% of the miles driven over the days when the Tesla Semi was tracked were with a gross vehicle weight of over 70,000 pounds, close to the 82,000 pound limit for zero emission class eight truck. So what powerful features can customers experience from the Tesla Semi after meticulous testing? As we have just mentioned, the 2025 Tesla Semi comes equipped with an astounding range of 500 miles on a single charge with the version of long range. That means you could drive from Los Angeles to San Francisco and back without needing to recharge. But wait, it gets even better. Thanks to Tesla's cutting edge battery technology, this semi can recharge up to 400 miles in just 30 minutes. That's faster than waiting for a cup of coffee to finish and then hitting the road again with a full tank of energy. Surprisingly, Charging with electricity is approximately 2.5 times cheaper per mile than refueling with diesel. Thus, operators can see estimated fuel savings of up to $200,000 within their first three years of ownership. Now, let's talk about its superpower. The 2025 Tesla Semi boasts a staggering towing capacity of 80,000 pounds. To put that into perspective, that's roughly the weight of 20 fully grown elephants. But what about speed? Well, hold on to your seats, because this magical machine can go from 0 to 60 mf in just 20 seconds. That's faster acceleration than most trucks on the present market. We will take a closer look at some of the standout features of the 2025 Tesla Semi. First and foremost, we have the enhanced autopilot system. This advanced technology allows the Semi to navigate highways and city streets with ease, reducing driver fatigue and increasing safety on the road. Regarding safety, the 2025 Tesla Semi comes equipped with a suite of sensors and cameras that provide 360-degree visibility around the vehicle. This means fewer blind spots and a safer driving experience for everyone on the road. However, the point here, it's not just about performance and safety. The 2025 Tesla Semi is also designed with sustainability in mind. By running on clean, renewable energy, this semi produces zero emissions, making it an eco-friendly choice for businesses looking to reduce their carbon footprint. Perhaps the most exciting part of all is the impact that the 2025 Tesla Semi will have on the future of transportation. By delivering goods more efficiently and sustainably, this semi has the potential to revolutionize the way we think about logistics and supply chains. So if you were a truck driver, would you choose a Tesla semi or a traditional gasoline car? Let us know your thought in the comment below. That's the end of today's episode. We hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.